The outer part of the ear, composed of the pinna, helixes, and other curves, helps funnel vibrations from sound waves into the ear canal, whereas the remainder of the ear tells the brain where the sound source is. This is called sound localization. A small distance down the ear canal, these vibrations meet the tympanic membrane, or eardrum, which marks the beginning of the middle ear, and this begins to vibrate itself. You can see the adjacent bone, called the hammer bone, or malleus, respond to the eardrum's force by moving in a swinging motion. This then affects the connected incus, or anvil bone, causing it to pivot, and in turn, pushes the smaller stirrup, or stapes, forward. These three tiny bones are named ossicles and are the smallest bones in the human body. When the vibrations meet the stapes, the force created has been increased by 22 times since it met the eardrum. This is because the face area of the stirrup measures 3.2 mm squared, whilst the face of the eardrum measures 55, increasing leverage along the middle ear. This amplified leverage is needed as the stapes needs to cause waves within the liquid inside the cochlea, which requires more force than what is provided from the initial vibration. The cochlea is described as the most complicated part of the ear, and is far easier to explain when unraveled from its spiral shape. It consists of three separate tubes, the tympanic canal, vestibular canal, and the basilar membrane. This basilar membrane contains 20 to 30,000 reed-like fibres extending across the cochlea, getting progressively longer and more limber toward the end. Each fibre resonates specific frequencies that match perfectly with particular vibrations. This causes the fibres to vibrate a special structure of hair cells named stereocilia. These stereocilia have nerve endings which send an electrical pulse to the auditory nerve and through to the brain. This gives us our fight or flight instinct. These components of the cochlea are essential for hearing anything within the human audio spectrum.